An image of an object was just taken by a Mars rover, a visitor from another galaxy millions of kilometers away. No details were captured that Earth's telescopes could find. The picture itself is an interesting, a faint smudge among stars in the distance. Yet, scientists were aware of something right away, something fundamentally flawed in its appearance. This object was affected by sunlight. You will soon conduct an investigation, one that started with a single blurry dot and descended into impossible measurements, challenging every model of a comet we've made over decades. We'll see how polarized it is, lightweight, without tails, with impossible mass figures and eerie alignments of trajectory, forcing researchers to split their results between what's explicable and what might remain an enduring mystery. Nonetheless, the biggest shock may not be any single data point, but the accumulation of anomalies that refuse to fit together. Before we jump in, consider this. If you've ever seen a comet in the night sky, you know they predictably scatter light, generating recognizable glowing tails. So, what exactly does it imply when an object scatters light in a way that can't be measured anywhere in the solar system, including in comets we've researched? Hold that question. The Perseverance rover from NASA aimed its masked CAMSI camera skyward one Martian afternoon and locked onto a coordinate predicted by astronomers, where Atlas with three eyes would appear. The resulting frame showed a dim, diffuse patch close to eighth magnitude stars. Each star was barely discernible even to sensitive equipment. This signified the first time humanity observed this interstellar interloper from such proximity. We anticipated arrivals like this maybe once per several millennia, or tens of millennia. The fact that we saw it within the past 10 years is truly surprising. The rover's vantage point on the Martian surface offered geometric benefits that no Earth observatory could match. Mission planners had timed this careful observation precisely, with Perseverance capturing that historic image for an entire day before the object's true closest approach to Mars. Engineers were aware that spacecraft orbiting the Red Planet would soon secure even sharper views during the nearest passage, capturing resolutions the surface rover's spectral data simply couldn't deliver. Therefore, teams gave orbiter downlinks priority for the definitive close-up data set. NASA's administrative delays, however, meant those high-resolution orbiter frames remained locked in processing queues far longer than planned. Budget negotiations and workforce restrictions temporarily slowed data release pipelines across multiple missions. Consequently, the public first saw Perseverance's ground-level snapshot, even though the sharper images remained in the archive. Nevertheless, the rover contributed an unexpected bonus. Environmental readings at the surface during the time of the flyby synchronized with the hours around 3i Atlas's near pass. Perseverance's weather sensors and navigation cameras captured a significant increase in atmospheric activity on Mars. The plane was swept by spiraling dust devils encompassing the rover, their turbulence clearly outlined in successive image frames. A larger dust cloud could be seen further on the horizon, a storm gathering momentum, its edge appearing as a dark yellow wall. These events may have been coincidental seasonal weather. Still, the timing, peak dust activity coinciding exactly with the interstellar object's closest approach, struck some researchers as statistically curious. Nevertheless, the comet itself displayed a striking absence. Every amateur astronomer at home expects comets to display brilliant tails, those signature banners of sublimating ice streaming away under the sun's radiation pressure. Atlas III defied that expectation for weeks. Early observations found little to no recognizable tail, a peculiarity that sparked immediate discussion regarding the object's composition. Then, as it neared Mars, a faint filament finally began to emerge, far less thick and dark than any tail of well-known comets. Observers could barely distinguish it from background noise. As a result, analysts used shape estimation in hopes that structure would make composition clearer. Reconstructions from numerous observatories, still awaiting peer review, hinted at an elongated, rather than round, nucleus. 
If confirmed, that geometry would place 3i Atlas closer in form to the first visitor from another galaxy, Aumuamua, whose shape was like a cigar or pancake. Unlike the second, Tuai Borisov, which appeared spherical and reassuringly comet-like. However, shape alone reveals only part of the story. Mission scientists therefore assembled a precise trajectory timeline to anchor the changing picture. On October 3rd, Atlas passed Mars at approximately 0.19 astronomical units, about 28 million kilometers. Its relative velocity clocked near to 100,000 miles per hour as the object raced sunward toward perihelion, the point of closest solar approach. Every comet approaching the sun braces for intense heating, outgassing, and often fragmentation. But nature had another card to play. Astronomers monitoring solar activity spotted a coronal mass ejection, a violent plasma expulsion from the magnetized corona of the sun, whose course models suggested a direct intersection with the comet's path. Shortly after the estimated impact window, 3i Atlas was completely lost to observers. It vanished from telescope feeds as if a switch had been flipped. Scientists suspected that the CME's particle blast either disrupted the fragile coma or triggered rapid outgassing that changed its reflectivity. Consequently, multiple factors compounded to erase the comet from view. 